Good morning everybody and this is your DAX day trade setup for today. So we are still stuck between these two levels uh, and that's uh, 13,325 and 12,951. And uh, if you look to the left you can see this is a pretty big level that we're trying to break through. I still think we are going to break through it. Uh, probably pop up and then come back and test it. Uh, it will probably happen on a sort of a 15 minute chart to start with then rally for a day or two and then probably drift lower to come back and test it uh, more solidly. But f for me, I am still watching this with bated breath. We we have got a few breakouts, but I'm going to give you those on the hour. Uh, nothing really confirmed at the moment, uh, but you can see how we are drifting up higher from the moving average. And we've never really broken below the moving average. Okay, so it's always a, a good indication, this uh, 33 EMA, because if you get a break and a retest and then it starts rolling, you, know, you pretty much know that you've got a change in direction. You can see here, big break, back, retest, retest again, and test it twice before dropping off again. So markets are designed to go up, so they're going to keep, they're going to, more often than not, going to try go up, try go up, uh, before eventually giving away. Okay, so that's exactly what's happened here. So they're trying, 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 and it looks like they're succeeding. So if we just get down to the hour, that's the level we're looking at. I'm just going to make this a, a pretty noisy chart for a second. So what I want to do is just pick up these tails. And there's another one there. It's pretty solid. And then one over there. Okay, so you can see I'm just picking up all these tails here on the hour. That gives me the levels. Uh, that we are playing with at the moment and if you look at the hour you can see as I said yesterday trended up uh, we are drifting higher we're just uh, at a point where we don't really I suppose we do have a daily close above this previous swing high so for all intents and purposes we have broken through because that was the previous high uh, we were sort of bouncing off it and you can see we eventually closed off it so that could be the retest we're looking for okay looking at the 15 you can see above it, below it, on it, below it, and then we've got this uh, inside bar and golfing bar. So that is a bullish pattern of a level. So for me, I am watching this today very closely. This level here is what I'm watching, uh, 13,317 or 13,300, because we have got a close above it. And with a daily close above 13,300, the next logical step is 13,400. Okay, so well, obviously 13,350, then 13,400. There's a lot of political uh, noise which has been sorted out in the US, so you know, we're now not talking Trump, Trump, Trump anymore, we're starting to talk Biden. So there's a change in policies, there's a change in, in personality, it's uh, a change in uh, relationships around the world. So you know, I think there's a, there's a lot in that which what you're reading in the market at the moment where investors are saying well now hopefully we get some calm storms uh, coming to the market and we don't have this uh, extreme volatility with every tweet so that being said I'm not in on this yet I think the S&P is offering some good opportunities and we'll look at Wall Street now but uh, this does look like we are going to start forming an opportunity. Uh, the other thing is, bear in mind, I'm on the 15. We've had a pretty messy move up, and now we're going sideways. So the next logical step is a break, a retest, and then a move equal to the previous move, which um, conservative because of the structure here. I'm going to take it from there. And that gives us a measured move up like that. I wouldn't be too surprised to see that come to some form of a round number and 13,400 is the number. Okay, so yep, that's kind of what I'm looking at at the moment. So uh, looking to get involved in this today, I think. Uh, bear in mind that the US is on holiday from tomorrow, well, tomorrow and Friday. So um, I'm fairly bullish on this at the moment we've got a daily we've got a, a daily close although it's not really a um, earth-shattering close but we do have a, a daily close above the previous high 
uh, we'll wait and see what transpires but I have a feeling uh, we just need to watch this closely and hop in on this on the retest here okay anyway that's it for me today um, hope that helps and that should give you a hundred point trade for probably 20 point 30 point risk uh, hope, hope it helps and we'll catch up with you later cheers for now